Welcome to episode 1055 of Love Serve Care. Today's episode, I want to talk to you a little bit more about Taekwondo because this is going to be the theme for a few days about insights I gained from this tournament, from my two victories, which equaled a gold medal. Go medal, gold medal. But yeah, something that I picked up on as somewhat of a cheat code were. The la- was the language of my opponents, right? We were in a holding section, which is basically like kind of like the um, like the locker room or the back room, green room, whatever, preparing to um, get matched up and all this different stuff. And just hearing them talk about, well, you know, just here to compete. I don't want to get hurt, right? They were just kind of like loose and casual about it. And in my mind, you no, know, I'm. I'm yeah, I'm smiling in my face, right? I'm, I'm talking to him a little bit, right? Not too much because I'm, I'm trying to stay focused. But in my head, I'm thinking, these guys have no idea what's about to happen. <laughs> these guys have no idea what's coming their way. This storm of me as a competitor, like, they don't know that I've been thinking about this event, this moment for several months now. From the first time I heard about it in the summertime, to obviously the day of right the moment of truth as we call it and i'm like these guys have no clue that i have been obsessed and i'm ready to tear somebody's head off (laughs) to you know to win and to compete and you're being very loose you're being very casual and it makes me think about folks in business right who kind of have that mentality of man i hope this works i'm just showing up to kind of have a good time you know it's it's okay right they're 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 in a space of not fully invested into it not fully committed into it They're, they're trying it out they're they're not as committed as they could be and that's influencing the things that they're doing because of who they're being they're being somebody who's loose and cavalier about things and not taking it as serious meanwhile they might be in the room with somebody who is singularly focused right who is very purpose-driven very inspired very motivated to perform at a high level and do some real damage in this case is in the form of martial arts but Let's talk about damage of making a massive impact. We're talking about making a massive income, talking about working with powerful clients and getting out there and doing the necessary things so that they achieve this outcome. So which one are you? Where do you fall into this category? And what's your language looking like? Please remember that you're born to live your life in abundance. You're the master of your future. You control your freedom and you have complete dominance of your thoughts, your emotions and your habits. Take care. God bless. Stay blessed.